Greetings and welcome to another series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the lectionary readings for the week and offer a few thoughts for reflection. This week we're looking at uh, some words of advice from the Apostle Paul to the Christian community in Galatia, Galatians chapter 5. My wife and I will be traveling abroad in a few days and I've been doing a lot of research about this travel and I've noticed that a lot of travel guides, they tell you uh, what not to do. So what things to avoid, what mistakes to avoid when traveling internationally, what places to avoid, what are some of the things that are not worth your trouble. Um, you know, the 10, 10 mistakes touristy people make when traveling abroad. And uh, it's... It's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm usually more focused on what I want to do. But Paul, in this letter, kind of approaches the law of God in the same way. He, he, he looks at the law of God as a means of describing the transgressions of, of the people in Galatia. He says, to them. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. The point that Paul is making in this, in these couple of verses about the law is that of course, the law is given by God, but it's interpreted, translated, lived out by humans and, and therefore becomes imperfect, therefore is subject to sin and, and, and tempts people um, to do wrong. It's difficult for people to try to uh, live by and abide by. And uh, that gets folks in all sorts of trouble. Uh, but, but Paul, in this letter, says there's, there's an alternative to trying to live by the law. He says, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. The people in Galatia are looking at the law of God, the rules to follow, as a vehicle of God's spirit. And Paul emphasizes to them over and over again that the vehicle of God's spirit is love. Amen.